What's good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your girl. I'm still a little baby. Cause every time I close my eyes, I see you. Welcome back to my channel, ladies and gentlemen. If you are new here, hello, hello, and welcome, okay? Be sure you like, comment, and subscribe. For Hit sure. that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl, okay? Believe that. <laughs> As y'all can see, I got my special guest today, my hubby. Salute to all my rebels BJ out there. in the building. Salute to all my okay. rebels out there. Let's get into it. Let's go. To everybody that kept saying, you got to bring BJ back for this. Y'all, it's all in the comment section. BJ probably ain't even seen it, y'all. From the last video I did, y'all, of Bill Burr with, uh, with this one in particular, y'all was like, you got to bring out. BJ. You got to show BJ. Hey, and from the last one, he, <laughs> Bill Burr killed me. He was super, super hilarious from the last, like the last clip that you showed me. He's so again, hey, I'm here for it. I'm super, super optimistic. Yeah. I'm ready for it. Y'all, what you got for me? No reason to hit a woman, y'all. I don't even that know why good. I showed him that video. Like I got okay. to the end, I was like, maybe I should have shown him this. Y'all just could, y'all just let me have it. Y'all, y'all could oh, not wait. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So here we are. I'm like, but this one not no. like that. I think this one you'll just, this one's just a, a vibe. It's funny. I think yeah, you'll like this I'm one. So. And if y'all watching right now, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, tap in. Tap I in. already said all tap of that. You gotta say it twice. Yeah. All right, y'all. So we finna jump into this video, y'all. Yeah. This is uh, Black Friends, Clothes, and Harlem. For sure. All of those things together. Uh-oh. Equal a whole mess, okay? Sure, I'm here for it. Let me go ahead and pull up. Let me make sure I got myself ready. Make sure, you know, I'm all ready, prepared. You know, I'm ready. you can say ready. something I'm crazy. Okay. okay. Let's go, y'all. <laughs> Actually, I got a couple of uh, friends of uh, African persuasion. And uh, <laughs> I got to get rid of them, man. I got to admit to you. I'm fine. I'm spending too much money on clothes, hanging out with them. Cause I gotta like fucking try to keep up with their wardrobe. <laughs> yeah. It's like every time they go out, they got all brand new shit on. <laughs> all brand new shit. So when I show up with my white oh, wow. version of brand new, which is, you know, I basically, I ironed the shit, right? I ironed it, right? It's cool. <laughs> they just start trashing me. I can't keep up with them, man. They got like fucking 58 pairs of sneakers. <laughs> Have you noticed that shit? Like every color fucking Timberland. And I don't give a shit what fucked up color their shirt is. They got a pair of shoes to match it and a hat. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Hey. Here it is. It's like <laughs> a y'all. Come on. Lost up, okay? From, from here to toe, too. Every single one, like, y'all. I wish BJ would have all this stuff in the closet, y'all, okay? Hey, I don't have 58 pairs of shoes. <laughs> I, got, I got maybe like 36. <laughs> You know, about 36, 35, 36 Man, pairs. Man, you do not have no day you 35 I mean? pairs of shoes. It's somewhere around in there. No. It's somewhere around in there. Y'all, okay? Five. Shoe. Think I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a rule or something. They're the worst. Even when you wear some new shit, there's like some sort of rule <laughs> that you gotta like space out the amount of time with, within which like that you wear it. Because God forbid right. you wear the same shirt within a 10-day period, one of them's going to notice. <laughs> All of a sudden, just look at you funny like, this motherfucker's got the same shit he had on last Tuesday. <laughs> and then the whole car's like, oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody just started it. making fun of your fucking clothes. 10 days. First they do the math, like, what was that, five days ago? Five days, this motherfucker got five shirts. <laughs> he got five shirts. They start breaking it down. Yo, his first shirt be saying Monday. Next shit be saying Tuesday. Yo, no, Yo the weekend, no. he ain't be wearing no, no shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Say. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta, it, it be like that, okay? You got to rotate. Sir, hey. he said five days. No. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get his game up. You gotta have at least seven, Bill. You gotta have at least no. seven. You five have at least... good shirts, okay? Them, yeah. the, them the, you know what I'm saying? Go out and, and, and look nice shirts. He's talking about five of those shirts. No, Bill, you gotta get your game up. I'll tell you, that's actually funny. You know what? That's actually how, uh, how I judge black guys now. When I first came no, to bro. City, like, all black people scared me. No, I was like the typical white dude from like the suburbs, you know what I mean? I had no frame of reference, you know? So my only frame of reference with black people was like, those, remember those early 90s gangster rap videos? <laughs> Throw the fucking LA riots in there, man. Fucking oh, horrible, God. Okay, okay. 
Oh, God. I'm watching the video. So he's got nice car, he's got all the women, and he's still fucking mad. <laughs> These black dudes are never happy. <laughs> but after 10 <laughs> years of living in the sea, this is how I narrow it down. Well, the black dude scares me now. Black dudes with dirty sneakers scare the fucking shit out of me. Oh, snap. Man, oh, hey. no. Talk to me, Bill. I figured out my head, because I know from hanging out with them, that's the last shit that they're going to let go, the immediate shit that they have on. So I think, you know, if his sneakers are fucked up, that means his life is fucked up. <laughs> Every time he leaves his building, the whole neighborhood, oh, shit! Okay? <laughs> Everyone I've been trying to tell you. Babe, I said the with, last with time, dusty shit y'all, now. I did this video by myself already before, and I was like, wait till BJ see this. Just because I'm like, I know that you probably can relate just being a dude better than this. But yeah, I promise you, you, I'm like, y'all, the first thing a dude will do, like, if the moment you step on his shoes, okay, they go crazy. It's a problem. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it, it's literally down to the, to the fact that you can't even wear certain shoes when you go to certain places. <laughs> For that simple reason. Right. Like, when we go to the club, like, you want to wear, like, your nice shoes, but we can't get no drinks built on them. Oh, That's no. going to cause an issue. Oh, no. Can't have nobody step on them. That's going to cause an issue, let alone a guy walking around with dusty shoes like yeah. that. Yeah, okay, but <laughs> if you know your shoes dusty, that means, you know what I'm saying, he's not Hey, he going through some things. He going through life. Yeah, yeah. Then the whole neighborhood, <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone starts making fun of him. <laughs> He's on the train in a bad mood. I kind of have this howdy doody, kind of mug me kind of face. Look. I'm not saying something's gonna happen. I'm just saying, I'm paying attention. <laughs> so I've been seeing this girl recently. Uh, this black girl, right? She lives up in Harlem, you know? Gone out like three, four times, you know? First time we wow. hung out, we hung out in like the village area in New York, you know, which is sort of like a racially mixed area. <laughs> so shit was cool, you know what I mean? Second time we hung out was more like Midtown, you know? Then the third time, she called me at like 3.30 in the morning and she wanted me to come up to her apartment, right? <laughs> so it's 3.30 in the morning, hey! she lives in Harlem, I look how I look, so it's a fucking situation. Uh-oh, 3 a.m., okay. <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about what, what, what. Maybe I don't not know. You put it that way, okay? What, I was supposed to say, what be open at 3 o'clock in yeah, the morning? Yeah, this sound like a setup. I just, Bill, did this sound like a setup right here? No. Calling 3, 3 a.m. in the morning, going no. to the wrong side of town? He getting set up for this one. <laughs> She's setting him up. That's a situation. Yeah, because you know the deal, right? Basically, a white dude feels comfortable up to about like 98th, 99th Street, you know what I'm saying? The second the streets start getting into like triple digits, like 100, 101st Street, Start getting like a little ass, and I'm like, oh, fuck. It's like a little ah, okay. I'm trying to tell you. Feel that little tightness in your chest? Can you yeah. feel that? Oh, God. 106 the pressure. Street, like leaning on shit. Like, dude, where'd all the cabs go? <laughs> How come there's no taxis up here? Hey, no lights. Dude, that's dark. a bodega. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Let's get, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> So I'm praying to God she's gonna tell me to take the subway, get off at like 105th Street, 103rd, you know, which is like the first stop in Harlem where I can still look over my shoulder. Yeah. See like all the white people like disappearing over the horizon, you know? <laughs> she goes, no man, you wanna oh, get God. the Uptown 2-3 train, you wanna get off at 125th Street. I'm like, God, fuck, 125th Street. <laughs> Jesus Tightness Christ, that's chest. like right in the middle of everything. <laughs> I'm gonna be surrounded on all four sides, I can't fucking do this. He said, can you, we, we can't be right around 100th Street, 103rd Street, while all the white people, were, where when you look around, everybody's kind of like, they still right there behind you, but they, they just a little ways back there. Nah, the brother, nah. Nah, you, you way. You going to the hood, to yeah. the corner bodega, brother. Yeah, that's where you going. Yeah. I can't fucking do this. <laughs> so, at this point, I'm really trying to hide, like, the bitchy tone that's starting to creep into my voice, you know? And I'm trying to ask for really specific directions for when I get up there, because I want to know exactly where I'm going. So she starts naming the streets I have to go down, and every other street up there is named after like a black leader, you know, and she's like, make a left on Adam Clayton, take a right on Frederick Douglass. I'm like, God, fuck Adam Clayton. <laughs> well, dude, go on the internet and look up Adam Clayton. Did he kill a bunch of white people during a slaver book? <laughs> dude, I ain't going up there till I know what Adam Clayton did. Fuck this shit. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, like that. And everybody in the city know that, like, in every in every city, in every inner oh, city, gosh. every urban area, there's a Martin Luther King, yeah. there's, a, there's a Malcolm X, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, you know. Dude, I ain't going up there 
it till I know what Adam's playing to. Fuck this shit. <laughs> So at this point, I'm really having a battle with myself. Because I'm thinking I can't do this, right? I'm like, I can't do this, but my dick's going, no, come on, man, we can do this, all right? Bye, Just relax. Hey, boy. Get it together. Pull yourself together and get on the goddamn train, right? So as always, I listen to my dick. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get on the train. By the time I get up... You're not the only one. <laughs> <He> like, <laughs> when you're in a bad situation, that's usually the last person hey, you need to think about. Hey, it be talking loud that's and clear, obviously. To, that's the last person you need to be thinking about. <laughs> last person you need to listen to in this situation, buddy. Right. Oh, wait, I listen to my dick. Oh, yeah, I get on the train. By the time I get up there, it's like 5 or 4 in the morning, right? I'm staying on, like, Malcolm X and, like, Danny Glover or some you... shit, right? <laughs> I don't even know where the hell I'm at. Danny Glover. No. When I see the street, I want to go up. I want to go up St. Nick. I can literally see her apartment building, but there's like five or six black dudes standing right on the corner, right <laughs> where I want to walk by. Like, Fuck! <laughs> no! I thought I was on like some reality show at that point, like some sort of like white guy survivor. It was ridiculous. <laughs> so I'm thinking, I got to walk right by these guys, right? You know no, what's funny? Man. I think that they were actually more surprised to see me than I was scared, you know? And I was really, really scared, you know, but I'm also really, really white, you know? Like, shockingly Caucasian. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, if you're not ready for me, I can, like, surprise you. <laughs> no. He said, if you're, not, if, you're not, if you're not ready for my whiteness, I'm gonna surprise you. Hey, he wanted to throw you off a little bit. walk up to you be like, oh, shit, what? What do you have? What, do you, what can I do for you? Like, yeah. what? Like, let me hurry up and move you along. <laughs> yeah, but he in the wrong side of town, so the black guy is like, hold on. You sticking out like a sore thumb right okay, now. Okay, what is you over here for real? The target for? is on you right now. Yeah. I I can, like, surprise you. <laughs> no, especially if you live up there. You've probably seen a white person for hours possibly days, so when I show up, it's almost like magical, like a leprechaun came out of nowhere, you know? Felt like I should have like a little ball. pot of gold, like a rainbow behind me, top of the morning to you, not <laughs> Kind of dance my way past him. But it's been going all right, you know? Once I get in her apartment, I'm fine, you know? I relax, <sighs> sit down, you know, watch a hip hop countdown. Uh, come on. <laughs> Pretend like I know the groups, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just getting there that's a fucking pain in the ass. But you know, I don't get mad at it, because I figure, you know, black dudes gotta go through the same shit though, right? When you go out to the suburbs, <laughs> go fuck a white girl. Right? <laughs> just that same awful feeling of just leaving your people hey. behind, you know, just less know. and less no, of you man. as you're fucking driving out there. They fucking like... start off lean and you're all fucking cool. <laughs> 20 minutes in, you're driving like 10 and 2 the radio's up. Like, dude, I don't like this shit. I don't like this shit at all. The pressure. Too much grass, I don't see any rims. <laughs> this is fucked up. None of the windows are tinted. I can clearly see white people in every car. This is fucked up. Listen, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for coming. No, out. man. God bless you. Thank no, you very much. He did not just go there. All right, man. Take Oh, my God. He did not just go there. He sure did. He sure did. He's going to be driving like 10 to 2. Oh, you're going to start seeing grass everywhere. Gosh. Hey. Hey, you in the wrong side of town. You don't see no rims no more. I man. said it'd be like that, though. It'd be like that. Man, he got me hot up in here. Oh, my gosh, man. You crack it this up. Is you over no, here sweating. No, Y'all no, ain't sweating. No, no. <laughs> He is tripping. Because I can see it, and, and I can see it just like a white guy. Like he said, you going up to Harlem. Like, you in the wrong side of town. <laughs> a lot of times, that's going to be a setup. You know oh, gosh. 3 a.m. in the morning. No. And then, and then he said, you know, the black guy got to go to the white person neighborhood. <laughs> and it's like, next thing you know, you're like leaving the hood, like all the, all the hood buildings and all the ran down buildings. And next thing you know, you in like, well, like I guess here here would be like Holland Park or something. Like you go to Holland Park and yeah, you know, okay, you like, like, what in the... Okay, we made a wrong turn that's somewhere. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you're going to feel like you set up or something. I, I just love how he just like correlates like like race and everything it just, it just comes out in like just the most hilarious way it does he you puts it into a context where it's it's, it's a jokingly <laughs> subject matter but at the same time you still kind of like yeah but he's telling the truth though that's <laughs> he's what i'm telling saying the truth, though, like for real okay that's he, what i'm saying he laughing but he for real that's what i'm saying because okay? everything he's saying like most white guys is not going to say it <laughs> you know what i mean they're going to think it 
you know? Yeah. And, and it's perfectly fine, but I just like that he just like that raw. He just oh said it in the way that he put it. Yeah. But yeah, man, you gotta stop thinking. You gotta stop thinking with you. You know what I'm saying? Don't yeah. get you caught up. Yeah. Every time. <laughs> all of that to go all the way to 125th Street, okay? <laughs> Should have had you behind there anyway at 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, y'all got to have okay. a meetup zone. We got to meet at 100. <laughs> at 100th Street. Sure, you better meet me <laughs> for some coffee. He said when the streets are turning to Malcolm X, Martin Luther <laughs> King, Thurgood Marshall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, man. Yeah, feel it. My face, face red. My face. I'm all hot. Y'all, he got stuff. sweat and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but that was good. He's super hilarious. Yeah. If y'all enjoyed this video, be sure you give your girl a big thumbs up. Please. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl. And if ain't nobody told you, I love you. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you all right? Malcolm X, Thurgood Marshall. <laughs> Danny Glover. You in the hood for real. <laughs>